Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless you. Hey, it's that time again. We need you to subscribe to the IUIC Phoenix YouTube page, all right? So make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. We need your help. Shalom. said uh, about that spiritual you being spiritual God was very spiritual at one time that's because the laws of God are spiritual mm -hmm. so God he, you know how the Central American South American they're natives too guess what your jo the job of your people the Gadites you were supposed to teach all of us the laws and that was going on at one time mm -hmm. that's why today you got a lot of the same sacrificial ceremonies Custom. from uh, customs from North America to South America but your people were supposed to be doing that. That's why today, when you look at it, God is like the more spiritual when you look at the people. When you look at all the natives, they're more spiritual than when you look at all the other tribes. But you're right, but you know what happened? We lost that. Your people lost that. That's why you, now, that's why you all jacked up today. You understand that? Read that part again, though. I want to read it again. Uh -huh. And he provided the first part for himself uh -huh. because they're in a portion because there, in a portion of the lawgiver, uh -huh. he was seated. Uh -huh. And he came with the heads of the people. He executed the justice of the Lord and his judgments with Israel. With, and the heads is talking about all the leaders of the native people. And guess what? You executed judgment. You showed how the people to live, what they supposed to do. If they didn't do it, how they were going to be judged. But guess what? Now we don't have that. Right quick, give me Hosea 1. Was there more on that? That was it. That was it. Give me Hosea 1 and 10. Let me show you something, right? When you look at the people today, especially yours, right? They, ta they taught you, like you said, what you learned. That's why I heard what you was telling him about, about the vision that you had about Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, the reason why you had that vision is because they taught you Christianity through this right here. That's what they taught you. They said, you know what? You're an Indian. You're not God's people, but you can be God's people if you convert to this religion. Guess what? You may say you don't accept it, but when you start dreaming about Jesus Christ looking like this and following those customs, you accepted it. Your spirit got destroyed. That's right. Now watch this. This is what they didn't, this people right here, look at the uh, religion. The Baptist, the Mormon, Adventist, Jehovah Witness, Pentecostal. Those are all religions that your people follow, right? Yes or no? Huh? They uh, they do. They don't they don't follow they don't follow the old customs that you have. And if they do, guess what? They're all mixed in with that religion. Same thing with us. The Mayans and the, the same thing. But watch what we gotta learn. Watch what God says right here. Read it. The book of Hosea, chapter one, verse ten. Uh -huh. Yet. Yeah. The number of the children of Israel uh -huh. shall be as the sand of the sea, uh -huh. which cannot be measured nor numbered. So watch this. The Israelites, right? And we have books. What's the name of that book where it says about the Native Indians, Black Indian? There's a book. It's called Black Indian. That book, it shows you history about Gadites, the Native Indians, and it shows proof how they're descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? So now watch this. They don't teach you that today. What, read this part again. Yet the number of the children of Israel uh -huh. shall be as the sand of the sea. Like you see this soil right here? If you pick up the soil, can, can you count it? Can you count the soil? You see all the dust? The sand, like the sand of the ocean. You been to the beach before? You never been to the beach? Never? But you know what sand looks like, right? If you pick up the sand, can you count in your hand? Can you count the sand in your hand? It's a lot, right? So God said the children of Israel are compared to that. Now watch this part, read. Which cannot be measured, nor numbered. You can number them, read. And it shall come to pass in the place where it was said unto them, uh -huh. ye are not my people. So here in America, they call me, you know what they call me? A damn Central American, Nicaragüense. That's what they call me, a Hispanic. They call him African American. They call you an Indian. Guess what? Black, black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, 
We're God's chosen people. We're the Israelites, right? right? God said in this land, in America, they don't call us the children of Israel. Right. But God said in this land, when they don't call us that, what happened? There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. That's why now we showing you that right now. You know, we teaching our people, you, you from the tribe of God. You're God's people. You're God's chosen people. But the only way, the only way you're going to be able to change that is by coming back to the Lord. You got to learn who you are, right? Like we teaching you now. You got to learn that you got to keep God's laws. And guess what? You see it today. That's why before a couple, like, how long you guys been out here? About 10 years? 10 years ago, you've been living in Arizona how long? Two years. Where'd you live that before? Oh, in Arizona though, right? Well, listen, 10 years ago, you wouldn't have seen us out here because we weren't here. But guess what? God sent us here in Arizona where our brothers are at to wake up and teach them what they got to do to keep God's laws and repent. You understand that? So now guess what? Now that you know that, you got to learn what are the things that God is asking for you. For example, Hosea 4 and 1. You don't go to church, do you? No? Okay, good. But you, do you celebrate your birthdays? You celebrate birthday. You celebrate Easter. Okay, good, good. Do you believe in the Virgin Mary? No, that's good, but you believe in Christ. All right, good, good. Do you keep the Sabbath day? No, you see that? So there's things that you're doing and you're not doing that you gotta learn how to fix that, bro. You understand that? Like you say, you celebrate your birthday and you know what the native Indians, they know what happened to them and they speak, and a lot of them, right? They be speaking against the white man, right? The colonizer, what do they call him? What's the term that they have for them? What's the, the, the white man, Gad? There's a term that they have for them. Uh, the $5 Indians. The $5 Indians, you know they stole everything from you. As a matter of fact, give me that in, uh, was that Isaiah? The Psalms? Yeah, give me Psalms right quick. Watch this. God identifies them and what they done to us, but guess what? We gotta identify them, us identifying them, we identify ourselves. We identify ourselves as who we are. Guess what we're able to do? Guess, guess, I'm, I'm gonna let you guess. Hey sis, you got a minute for God? Come here for a minute. Huh? What do we go? We gonna learn how to worship God. That's right. You gonna go, you gonna go back to be spiritual once again, cause we're not spiritual today. Look at Arizona. You see all the drug addiction that's going on today? The prostitution. Look how people are like zombies out here today. Watch what the Lord says right here. The book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 20. Uh -huh. He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Were, were not the natives at peace? Were they not peaceful people at one time? I remember that the same thing with the natives in Central South America. They were peaceful. They were like, damn. They allowed themselves to come in. They allowed, allowed, themselves, they allowed the white men to come in. All right? They, we did that at one point. Then when you look back to the history right here, with Thanksgiving, right? What happened in Thanksgiving for, during Thanksgiving? What's the real history behind that? Huh? You don't know. You got to know that history. You got to study that. You know why you don't know? Because they ain't teach us the, teaching us that in school. They teaching us a bunch of lies. Even today, they got that, um, the what's that thing called? They taking out the history classes. Uh, uh, critical race the theory. critical race theory. Because they don't want, they don't, I'm going to tell you what that is. Or 1619 project, yeah, right? right yeah. It's called 16. We gotta understand everything that they're pushing against the black and Hispanic, they pushing it against the native Indians. Right. We're one and the same. We can't separate ourselves. They separate us. We gotta learn how to not separate each other because we really one and the same. So when they see, when you see what they're pushing against the so-called black men, they're really pushing it against you. That's right. When they see, th when you see things pushing things against the Hispanics. Right? They're really pushing it against you. We're the same people. Right. So with the 1619 Project, guess what? A critical grace theory. They don't want the kids today in school, elementary, junior high, high school, being taught the history of what the colonizers did. Right. They don't want them to learn that. You know why? Because the white man wants to keep that history hidden from us. Right. That's, that's something that that's we right. really got to understand. Our history is very important. Our history is very important. We don't think it is, but they know. That's why they celebrate what? Fourth of July. They celebrate Thanksgiving. They celebrate Columbus Day. But they don't want us to celebrate our days. You understand that? They get they get the Mexicans, so-called Mexicans. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Cinco de Mayo. El Dia de los Muertos. 
which is really nothing. It's really nothing when they're still keeping them from crossing the damn border. That's right. You understand that? Yeah. But watch this. Read this part again. He yeah, uh, crossed the border from Mexico to the States when it was all our land, right? Watch this. Read it. He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Uh -huh. He hath broken his covenant. Uh -huh. The words of his mouth. Hey, 470 covenants there. Yes, sir. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Because guess what? When we made agreements with them, it was how many? 400 and something? 407, over 470 uh, uh, agreements, treaties, you know what I mean? That's what we did. Because we was at peace with them, but the scripture said their words were sm smoother than butter because they made us believe they was going to uh, do things for take care of us. But then what did they do? They gave us blankets filled with smallpox. They gave us a bunch of diseases. They killed us. Huh? The massacre, the buffaloes. The natives used to live off of that. That's why when you look at the pictures, when you look it up, you, you can find the buffaloes, like uh, the skeletons, like a whole mountain. Have you seen that before? Yeah, look it up on your on your phone right quick. It's huge. You know why? Because they knew they was gonna be able to kill us out, or kill us off for that. Because now we can't hunt. Now, you, now we can't hunt. Now we can't get food. Now we cannot store food for the winter. Now we can't get the the leather, the fur, and all that, and take care of ourselves for the winter and for our clothes. Now we can't do that. Now we're getting sick. Now we're getting killed. Now we're everything. You understand that? But the the scriptures. The wounded knee. A thousand of them got killed. You want the Buffalo soldiers too? Was that it? No, that was Judah. That was Judah. That, I was thinking Buffaloes. Yeah. You so you heard of the wounded knee? Okay. Well, look up. That's a lot of history. The trail of tears. That's a lot of history we gotta look into. I gotta look into more of that. I know a bit more history of the Aztecs and the Mayans because that's where I come from, right? That's I'm I'm I'm, I'm from Central America. But you, my brother, and you know what? We gotta learn each other's history because when we when we study it, you know what we're gonna find? It's the same thing. Give me that right quick. Romans 15 and 4. Mm -hmm. And then give me Psalm 72, 70, 70. You want me to finish There's that? More? Yes, more? Come on, finish it. Verse 21. The words of his mouth oh, yeah, yeah. were smoother than butter. You know when somebody's words are smoother than butter? You know what that's saying? Smoother than butter. What do you, what do you think that's talking about? Smoother than butter. Or somebody smooth, huh? Yeah, meaning you believe it. Meaning, damn, that thing was smooth. When you say something smooth, like, damn, that, you believe that thing. God said that's the so-called white man, because his, his name, he's not a white man. His name is Esau, according to the Bible. Let's identify him. That's his real nationality, Edom. God said his words were as smoother than butter. But what? But war was in his heart. Their, their nature is war. That's what they are, war. That's why when you look at the conquest, give me that right quick. Give me that in um, in um, uh, Revelation 6 and 2. That's why when you look at the, the, the whole history is murder, pillage. Oh, you got that? Show it to him. Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. That's skulls and bones. Skulls and bones of the buffaloes. That and many other animals that they destroyed, that they, that they killed off the planet. And that's what they do. They're like a virus. The so-called white man, he's a virus. That's right. You gotta, we gotta understand what type of people they are. They are a virus. Everything they touch, they kill and destroy. Right. And after the, be, be, uh, don't let no man deceive you after the rudiments of the world and the traditions of men. Everything you see in this world today is a bunch of traditions of men. Even uh, the powwows. When you look at the powwows, tell me, are they not corrupted with other nations coming in and making it their own, huh? Making it their own, um, making it their own. Even that's corrupted. So your custom, our custom, our culture is corrupted. And now they give us what, like you say, celebrate Christmas. They give us New Year's. The New Year's actually just started. When, uh, when was it, uh, yesterday? New Year's, yeah, yes. the new moon two days yeah. ago. Thursday. The New Year's was Thursday. They even gave us a false New Year. Everything that they give us in this world is new. I mean, it's, it's, it's false. It's corrupted. So God said, don't let no man deceive you, right? So go back to uh, Jeremiah. So they gave us today. Now we celebrate birthdays, right? Birthdays is not our custom. You got to let that thing go. That's a sin. Now watch what God says about that. 
Jeremiah 14, verse 20. Curse be the day wherein I was born. That's your birthday. When you celebrate your birthday, you're doing what? Celebrating yourself. Right. When, if you're celebrating yourself, what are you making yourself? Exactly, right. a God. If you're making yourself a God, you're making, what are you committing? Idolatry right. is idolatry, and in Exodus 20, God says, "What about idolatry? Don't make yourself no other gods. Don't worship no other gods but me." Right. God said that. So read that part again. Curse be the day wherein I was born. Uh -huh. Let not the day wherein my mother bear me be blessed. It ain't a blessing. Don't let nobody tell you. Listen, well, even if you say you don't celebrate a whole party. But you let people come and tell you happy birthday. You better tell them, nah, you better get the hell away from me with that. God said, don't do that. Don't make me no idol. I'm nobody. I'm nothing. If I ain't keeping God's law. So you got to tell people that, nah, don't even tell me happy birthday. Don't let nobody bless it, reverence it. Because God don't bless it. Read on. Hey, curse be the man who brought Titus to my father, saying, a man child is born unto thee, uh -huh. making him very glad. That goes into gifts. That gets, goes into gifts. People give birthday you gifts. gifts. Uh, yeah, during the birthday, God said, don't do not do that. Don't even accept that. Don't let no man do that. You understand? So birthday, guess what? It's a sin. It's idolatry. Don't do it, brother. So before we go, because we're going to wrap it up soon. What you learned today? Huh? Okay. No birthdays. What else? No holidays, no worldly holidays. You could keep the holidays that are in the Bible. Leviticus chapter 23 gives you some of them. Read that. That's why you got to read the Bible. What else you learn? What's your nationality according to the Bible? Gad. Gad. Right. You're the tribe of Gad from the 12 tribes of Israel. Hey, right quick. First Peter's 2 and 9. Yeah, let's read that real quick. Come on. History of birthdays. What religion did birthdays come from? Watch this. Why do we celebrate birthdays? The idea of celebrating the date of your birth is a pagan tradition. Uh -huh. In fact, many Christians didn't celebrate birthdays uh -huh. historically because of that link to paganism. You see that? What does it say about birthdays? It's pagan. Is there more? Read yes. on. Pagan stuff. That evil spirits lurked on days of major changes, uh -huh. like the day you turn a year older. You see that? But and, it, and and we call it our birthday, but it can't be your birthday if you were you've been living in this earth for many years. You only have one birthday. That was the year that you was born, and that's it. But it's pagan. You want a pagan meaning? It's it's from the other nations, right? Meaning you're not supposed to do it. God didn't give you that. Just like God didn't give you the way we we celebrate everything else that we do, the way you worship Him, okay? Now what? First Peter, we'll we'll, sh we'll close it out with this one. Two and nine, or Second Peter's two and nine. This is the book of First Peter's, chapter two, What's verse it? nine. But ye are a chosen generation. You are chosen people, man. Our people, the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. God said, who are God? Me, I'm from the tribe of Zebulon. He from the tribe of Judah. Judah. You understand? We're the same people, man. Right. God said we chosen. A chosen people, a chosen generation. Read. A royal priesthood uh -huh. and holy nation. Uh -huh. A peculiar people uh -huh. that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So we that. We greatness. God said we peculiar. Right. But what really makes us peculiar is when we serve God. God said to show his praises. How do we show his praises? What makes us peculiar? When we go back and keep God's laws, brother. That's right. Not the customs of this world. So although we're chosen, we're peculiar, we're different, we only become precious in the Lord if we start keeping his God, God if we start keeping his laws. You understand it? Because we're going to be judged based on that. So we got to understand it. You got to learn that. At least you learned that today. You go back and now you got to research some more. And you got to give us a call too. You, did you get a flyer?
and his men leading by example. Oh, my.